Hi everyone, welcome to Dr. Obi's Garden. In this video, I'll show you how to grow bell pepper or your favorite sweet pepper from seed to get an amazing harvest. The beautiful thing about growing bell pepper is that you can harvest at the grain stage or let it ripen before harvesting for a colorful and healthy meal. It is easy to grow, but it requires a little patience. I'll share tips to guarantee success throughout the video and at the end, so stick around as I get my hands dirty. Start by filling seedling cells with moistened soil mix. I normally use garden soil mixed with about 10% compost. For this demonstration, I'll be using two sweet pepper varieties, that is the crispy hybrid and the Chinese giant. After opening the seed packet, place about 3 seeds on the soil mix in the seedling planters. This will be done for both varieties. You can use the blunt end of a toothpick to push the seeds into the soil mix about a quarter inch deep. The hole is then covered with soil before watering it lightly. The setup is then covered with a transparent plastic sheet or cling film to maintain the moisture, humidity and temperature required for germination. Keep the setup in a partially shaded area. If you live in a cold climate, you can start the seeds indoors with supplemental lighting about 8 to 10 weeks before the last spring frost date. Seedlings will emerge within 9 days. Remove the plastic film from cells that have germinated seedlings, but keep it in place on seedling cells that have not germinated yet. Unlike tomato or chili pepper, bell pepper seedlings grow rather slowly. Expect to transplant the seedlings about 8 to 10 weeks after sowing. To transplant, fill the container with soil mix. I normally use a mixture of about 70% garden soil, 20% compost, and 10% river sand. Water the soil thoroughly and let it stand for a little while to allow the soil to settle. Create a hole in the middle of the soil deep enough to cover the seedling cell completely. Plant one seedling per hole. If seedlings are more than one per hole, carefully separate them ensuring that each one has roots intact together with the root ball. Flower buds will start appearing within 14 days after transplanting. At this stage, you can spray with potassium nitrate foliar fertilizer to promote flowering and fruit development. The application can be done once every 4 weeks. You can also pinch up the tops to encourage branching in order to increase the fruit load and get many fruit. However, Depending on the variety, this may lead to smaller fruits. There is however a way to get a bigger fruit even if you pin the tops. You will see this shortly. The next 14 days, we will see the flowers open and the plants growing bigger.
At this point, you can provide a stake for your plant to keep them from lodging. This is absolutely necessary if you live in a windy area or are growing varieties that produce many large fruits. You can spray with an organic fertilizer such as seaweed fertilizer to help strengthen the stems to be able to carry the fruit load. This fertilizer can be applied once every 30 days. So essentially, you will be alternating the potassium nitrate and seaweed fertilizer every 2 weeks. After about 15 days, more fruit would have formed and some would have started growing big. If the plants have too many flowers, you can pinch off some of the bars to ensure that the size of the fruit is not affected. If you had pinched off the tops of your plant when it started flowering, this little trick can allow you to get a decent harvest of big fruits. This would be a good time to smash that like button if you are enjoying this video. Share with friends and leave a comment or question and I'll get back as soon as possible. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to support our work. Within the next 20 days, more fruit would have grown appreciably. Some of these will be big enough to harvest. If you are interested in green fruit, you can go for it. If you want a more colorful bell pepper, you have to put on your patient's cup and allow the fruits to ripen and develop the color you want. All leaves below the fresh fruit can be removed to improve air circulation and allow the plant to channel more resources into fruit development. After about 20 days, most of the fruit would have ripened fully. At the same time, there will be some green mature fruits as well. You can harvest both of them to make a healthy, nutritious and colorful meal. So, over a period of 5 months, if you are patient enough, you'll be enjoying the literal fruits of your labor. There will be more fruits to harvest within the first 2 weeks after the first harvest, with more to come. To prolong the harvesting period, after each harvest you can apply potassium nitrate fertilizer as a foliar spray or soil drench. Banana peel fertilizer can also be used. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos or see you in our next. Until then, it's adios.